Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxico Natch today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the best player at every single position in Madden 22. Now I've been getting asked a lot in the comment section to do a video like this and I will let you guys know right now a lot of the videos that I do they tend to come from the comment section and just kind of seeing what you guys want to see. So if there are any more videos like this that you guys actually want me to go ahead and do I will gladly go ahead and do them so comment them down below and if you see another comment of a video you would like me to do drop a like on it so i can see it and i'll probably get it done now i don't give a shout out to rance collins for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel to notification bell on and comment down below noti gang but yes this video is pretty much exactly what i said i'm gonna go over the best player at every single position except for kicker and punter and offensive line because that is very very simple it's obviously right now like especially with line we don't really have a lot of uh similar overalls at O-line, there's pretty much just like the highest overall one, and boom, there you go, it's the best one, so that one's very, very obvious. These other ones, maybe not so much, so let's get into it. Starting off at quarterback, we have Zach Wilson, uh, because he has Gunslinger when you power him up, and that is necessary to power him up, but yes, when you power him up, he is the best quarterback in the game. 91 throw power, 88 short, 85 medium, 87 deep, 82 speed, 87 excel, and as I said, powered up, you get Gunslinger, which the only quarterback in the game currently to get it makes him the best on to the running back position i've told you guys this many times i really feel like reggie bush is one of the best players in the game right now because of what he can do in the receiving game uh, and having that backfield master being only one ap because he is that receiving back archetype i really feel like is just so valuable especially because you're gonna see so many people running zach wilson who does get gunslinger but Gunslinger's 4 AP, so that's a lot of AP to already be spending, so you don't want to have to spend more than 1 AP on your running back. In my opinion, I feel like Backfield Master is what you need to get those extra routes because it's just so crucial. And Reggie still is one of the fastest running backs in the game, one of the most elusive running backs in the game, and still the best receiving back in the game. And I think it will be for a little bit here until we get like a crazy, crazy running back. And at fullback, this one is pretty obvious, just like offensive line, honestly. But yeah, it's Larry Zonka. It's not even close. He's got 87 speed. 89 acceleration 88 strength 90 carrying he's also got 91 break tackle 88 stiff arm 92 trucking 90 run block 90 lead block and 91 impact block wide receiver this one's gonna go to jerry rice with 92 speed and 91 excel he's also got 90 agility 92 catching 91 catch of traffic 89 short 91 medium and 92 deep routing with 91 spec catch and 92 release he's also got himself a 92 juke move 92 break tackle and 91 change direction at six foot two and he's a route runner archetype i feel like we've got to have like randy moss coming soon or, or something like that but jerry rice for the meantime is uh, just a, a nutty card this card is crazy and at tight end i feel like there's a lot of great tight ends in the game right now we have, of course have the george kittle we have kyle pitts but i think that darren waller is definitely the best tight in the game six foot six He's a vertical threat archetype, so you get that tight end apprentice. He's got 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 91 short, 88 medium, also has 84 deep routing with 88 catch and traffic, 90 spec catch. He's got 87 carrying, 78 trucking, 70 run blocking, and 69 impact block. Walter's crazy. Now let's get into the defensive side of things. And at left end, in my opinion, the absolute best left end currently in the game, I would say is Montez Sweat. And why is he the best left in the game? Well, because of simply the speed. 87 speed and 90 excel. Now his strength is not the highest. He's only got 81 strength, but he's got 89 finesse move and 85 block shit with 88 hit power. I will say though, Montez Sweat, for having only 81 strength and 85 block shit, for me personally, really is not play bad at all in the run game he's obviously not going to be someone like let's say you know warren sap at dt he's not gonna be that type of uh run stopper for you but i really feel like right now with how fast quarterbacks are daniel jones vince young zach wilson you want to have that fast edge uh, defender right there whether you have him in a qb contain you have him in a quarterback spy you have him just screaming off the edge montez sweat is one of the best edge rushers in the entire game and i have him on both my no money spent and 
over on my main account because he's just that good. And it right in this LTD Miles Garrett. Yeah, he's over 900k for a reason because this card is really good. 82 speed, 87 excel, 92 power move, 90 finesse move, 88 block shit. He's also got an 85 hit power. And at defensive tackle, like I said, I feel like the best DT in the game is Warren Sapp. Now, if you take a look at Fletcher, Fletcher's stats, okay, kind of make you think that Fletcher would be better. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, Warren Sapp, if you've played versus him, I guarantee you, if you play versus Warren Sapp and you play versus Fletcher, you will notice a difference. There is a big, big difference, especially to run-stopping ability between these two. I don't know what it is because Fletcher is actually 310 pounds, so like he's... Way he weighs more, which is supposed to kind of factor in a lot there. And he's got 89 strength right here with 92 power move. And he's got 91 block shit. Very, very comparable to Fletcher. And Fletcher is a little bit faster. But Warren Sapp plays better. Some cards just play better. Warren Sapp is one that does. And then left outside linebacker, Kevin Green is definitely the best one in the game right now. He's got 87 speed and 90 acceleration, 90 finesse move, 88 block shed, 91 hit power he also get 88 tackling i mean this card is incredible around the edge also i just want to say this take a look at his theme teams he's actually on 49ers panthers rams and steelers that doesn't factor into anything when i make this list but i'm just saying he's been on a lot of theme teams here uh kevin green is really good and then if you take a look at his traits he also is a big hitter he does have the high motor he doesn't have clutch though but he also does have strip ball utilizes bull rush and utilizes swim moves so kevin green incredible edge rusher at middle linebacker i'm gonna say devin white now i will admit i probably would not care to use devin white just because middle linebackers just really aren't that crazy uh but devin white yes 89 speed 89 acceleration does also have 89 jumping he has 84 change of direction as well 90 hit power 85 block shed 81 zone it's a good middle linebacker if we're playing like madden 20 at right outside linebacker, I will admit, this one pains me here to not have DeMarcus Ware, although I personally still am using DeMarcus Ware. That's also because I have 25 out of 50 Cowboys chems, so that's why I'm running DeMarcus Ware there still. But Derek Thomas, if you compare their stats, they are extremely similar when it comes to stats. Derek Thomas has an 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 88 power move, 87 finesse move. So he's got that mix of power move and finesse move, though, that D-Ware doesn't necessarily have both of those super high. 88 block shed and 90 hip power but take a look at the traits the traits are crazy on Derek thomas big hitter yes clutch yes high motor yes he also has strip ball utilizes bull rush spin move and swim move if you played against Derek thomas and you played against d Ware, odds are Derek thomas probably is making more plays and at cornerback i really don't think it's that close right now and i think that ea needs to put out like some sort of crazy crazy corner which i think they may do with team diamonds honestly with the team diamonds master of my prediction video i made but mike kane six foot two 91 speed 92 excel 91 zone 91 man at 92 press he's also got 81 hit power 81 block shed 71 tackling this card is amazing also i just want to mention this he's definitely not the best corner in the game right now but Patrick Sertain, that new one, the Rising Star, yeah, if you guys don't have him, I'd look into getting him. That card's really good, too. And at free safety, I'm going to say the best free safety in the game is not Roy Williams. I'm not, you know, that biased, but we have Sean Taylor, 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 87 zone, 91 hit power, 79 block shed. I know he doesn't get to 90 zone coverage, but he's all six foot two, and I do think that Sean Taylor makes an insane amount of plays for me, and I think everybody that has Sean Taylor can say that Sean Taylor just makes a crazy, crazy plays. He is really good, and again, take a look at the trade big hitter yes clutch yes high motor yes strip ball yes plays ball near aggressive he just plays incredible and when it comes to the strong safety position, obviously Cam Chancellor is the best in the game, right? But if you're looking to purchase one, then I'm going to say Devine Diablo. Uh, but yes, Cam Chancellor is, I mean, come on, he's, he's definitely the best in the game if you can get him maxed out. But if you're looking for a guy to go get right now, Devine Diablo is the guy to pick up. As a user anyways, uh, Ed Reed is definitely really good as well if you just want to have a safety back there. But I think just overall looking at the safety position, if you want to use someone, you're probably going to use a strong safety. And that would be Devine Diablo you'd want to use her at 90 speed 91 acceleration 85 change of direction 88 jumping six foot three he's got 84 block shed and 90 hit power so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below that is my list of the best player at every position in madden 22 hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time